Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to check if an object has a property. Now we can add, modify, and remove keys from object. But what if we wanted to know if the object has a specific property? JavaScript provides us two different ways to do that. We can use has own property method, uh, and the other use is in keyword. If we have an object users with a property of Allen, we could check for its presence in either of the following ways. Users has own property of Allen. This should return true. And then Allen in users. Cool. This one's uh, going to render true as well. We've created an object users with some users in it and a function is everyone here. So here we've got your users. Each inside of the object, there is another object with Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan. It has their age and whether or not they're online. Um, is every, and then so our function is everyone here. See, I like this function name because it actually describes what it says. It's like if you pass in the object of the users, it's going to check is everyone here. So that's a good, uh, or this is a, a nice um, name for a function. Uh, we want to finish writing the function so that it returns true only if the user's objects contains all four names and <clears throat> as keys. All four names, Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan as keys and false otherwise. Uh, the user's object should only contain the keys Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan. The function is everyone here should return true if Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan are properties on the user's object. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to know what everyone is. So I'm going to say let everyone be equal to a, yeah, an array. Alan, Jeff, Sarah, Ryan. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so everyone is equal to this. Um, I mean, a really easy way to do this would be to say, um, we could say if um, users dot has own property um, of Alan. Hmm. User set has own property Alan. Actually, we could do a loop here. Okay, so we could do a loop next. Um, so we could say for variable, let's say we'll let i equal zero. I is less than everyone dot length i plus equals one. Okay, so now we're loop looping through here. If I were to console.log out, um, everyone at position i, undefined, should be Oh, I see what's going on. L-E-N-G-T-H. Okay, so now what we're doing is we've got an array and we're iterating through. So with each one, we can say, um, uh, what's it? Is it student? Is it? Yeah. Let's call it uh, student. We can set this one equal to, we let the student be equal to everyone at position I. And so now if we just console log out student, we're printing out uh, Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan. And so now we could say if um, we want to use, we could say if 
um, users dot has own property of that student. And we say if that is equal to false, then we want to return false. And um, cool, I'm going to get rid of this console log now. So we're going through. So basically, if, if at any point when we're iterating over the users array, we're going Alan, Jeff, Sarah, Ryan. If that returns false ever, then we want, we're, we're going to have our function return false. Otherwise, we just want it to return true at the end. So right now, is everyone here with the users? Um, this is returning true, as you can see. But we should return false if Jeff is not a property on the object. So let's say if we just comment out this Jeff line, now it's returning false because it's returning false because Jeff is there. Um, yeah, and so I think that this will pass the tests. Um, let's see. Yeah, so I'm just going to go over this one more time. We've got our users object. In this thing, we first off set a list of everyone. So everyone in, in this um, we're checking for is an Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan. This is an, an array. And so we're iterating through the array. We're setting i at zero, and then i is less than the um, length. One, two, three, four. So i is currently zero. i is less than four, so we continue, and we iterate through. So the first thing, i is zero. Everyone, the student becomes equal to Alan. And then... We're going, if the users has that own property of the student, which is Alan, so if in the user's object, Alan is on the property, well, that's going to return true. And because that's not equal to false, we skip this part. And now we keep going through that. We do the same thing. Now I is equal to one. I is less than um, uh, four. So we go through again. Um, now everyone at position one is equal to Jeff. So student is equal to Jeff. And then we say, does the user's object have Jeff as the property? It does in our example because, um, and therefore this renders out this whole thing. This becomes true. This guy becomes true. And true is not equal to false. So we skip this one again and we don't return true. So now I is equal to three or two. And then, so we do it with Sarah and then it's equal to three. When we do Ryan, because all of those continuously never return true here, where we never hit this statement. And so once the uh, for loop is complete, we return true. And uh, that's uh, how you do it. Um, I'm sure there's some other, there's a lot of other ways that I think that this one could be done, but this is just the way that I think makes the most sense for uh, young programmers who are uh, currently learning. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.